This episode was brought to you by our generous patrons. Want to vote on the next game we play? Consider becoming a patron. And we are back. Indeed, we are. There's no place we wanted to return to else, right? Uh, that I can really think of. That that's has all right. Water. Oh, that'll be at the end. Nah, we'll, we'll move forward with Quart 2. Yeah, I'd say go go to Quart 2. This is the next big uh, story one for us to hit up. Yeah. Bum, oh, bum, great. Bum, this looks bum, like Drex Place, bum, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? Mm -mm. Hey, you guys uh, screwed up a little bit. Yeah, I think. Uh, our plan of attack is simple. Halo drop into school. Six, <laughs> a whole mess of bullets and take Drick into custody so we can be home time for waffles. Mm -hmm. Waffles. Yeah. Who doesn't love waffles? Yeah, waffles. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Wait, that's our plan? Yes, it is. Pardon me, Captain, but Chairman Drek is cunning. He will be prepared for our assault. Look, I think it is beyond adorable that you decided to do all this homework. But big heroes do big things. <laughs> Let's take a vote. All those in favor of kicking in Drek's front door with a massive arsenal and restoring peace to a galaxy in turmoil, say aye. Aye. All those in favor of nerding it up here with some pie charts, say nay. Nay. Nerds. <laughs> we assault Drek Industries tonight. <laughs> Lock and load, Ranger. Got to get in the X-wing. Oof, pretty. It's a good design, though. Yeah. Let's bring it in. Remember our target Group is hug. Chairman Drek. Ready, Rangers? On the count of three. Oh. Uh. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he dropped just right, ratchet. Just ratchet. Out. Yeah. I thought he was straight up just like, bye, buddy. <laughs> this is cool. It's very neat. Kind of find it weird that they didn't incorporate his uh, jet wings. The, like, the I don't think they wings. have them in the movie, so this yeah. is like, yeah. I think they just gave him the rocket boots. I think so. Ratchet Rangers, I've landed in Core 2, but I ran out of jetpack fuel. Oh boy. Even the smog looks the pretty. We'll split up and keep radio contact. Good luck, team. God, as it suffocates my lungs. Yeah, I feel like coughing just looking at yeah. this. Infiltrate the uh, fa factory. I said facility. Oh fuck, man! I was like, is it gonna, is it gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> I tried doing a jump after too because it didn't look like it was gonna be just going. Like you're gonna come up short. Yeah. Nah, you good. I'm like, I stopped at the end of it. What the hell? Might be a new weapon you can buy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think well, so. Well, probably we have new, bolts. new planet, right? Yeah. We have a lot of bolts, man. Sixty-four thousand. Oh, nice. Thirty thousand. Launch jackets the spinning discs that arc through the air, bouncing around between enemies and walls to wreak havoc. I'll buy it. What else am I gonna do with the money? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Buzz blades, buzz blades, buzz blades, buzz. There we go. Okay, so it's still pretty hidden for now. Mm hmm. What is it? More upgrades. Got a fire is up. up and ammo. Okay, okay. I still don't think I'm gonna do the predator. No, for sure. This is a nice uh, area spam one, you'll see. Yeah. Swing! S -s swing! 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 <laughs> no swing. No swing. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It, like, connected. Uh, can you jump, jump, swing? Can you pull forward when you do it? I'm holding forward. Yeah. I was like wondering it's... if you could build up momentum in this one. I can't remember if you can. Oh, no, I, I think it's just kind of like auto does me. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's fill up our health and stuff then in the meantime. Jump, jump, click. C come on. And come. There you go. <laughs> so I can I can technically hit it before. Buzz blade. Yeah. Uh, I can hit it before. What is I can't tell what is going so on. So all those little orange things, you're just throwing like little shurikens. Oh. Yeah. And when you're in a room with that stuff, it just pings all over. It's great. Okay. They get bigger, I see. Too. So are they kind of like the, uh, 
Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Arrow. Yeah, 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 exactly. Where like they'll lock on to things yeah. and kind of go around name? a bunch. Um, Gun two. Oh, I, I, I know what you're talking about. I can yeah, draw yeah, right yeah. now. Um, uh, but you know what I'm saying, yeah. Star Lord's daddy. Is like his, his, his daddy, real, daddy. His, his other real daddy. dad. His not his daddy, daddy. His, his good, daddy, daddy, daddy. His good dad. I mean, <laughs> good dad. Relatively good dad. Better dad. His best dad. Best dad. Best dad. Best dad in, yeah. Actual dad, dad. Oh, Actual boy. dad, dad. Oh, oh, Mr. Zircon Jr. What are you doing? He's starting the fray. Okay, that's fine. Well, uh, I'll the, use the warmonger yeah, then. Go for it. Fuck it. Boom. Gotcha, baby. Stay dead. Oh boy, oh yeah, boy. Until you get the Rhino, I believe this is your strongest one hit weapon. That's um, fine, that's cool. Oh god, man. No, oh, yeah. Oh, oh god, oh, man. Yeah, oh, oh god. Uh -huh. Hey, stay back. Bam. Is it lock? It kind of feels like it did. No, okay, I'm, out. Out. I'm out. Swap it over to Plasma Striker. Come on, fucker. Nice. In the meantime, I think I can. I got cover, so I can yeah, kind of hold like, here. Yeah, for sure. This seems like an opportune spot to be doing yeah. it. Oh, fuck. Where are you at? Can I poke you? Can I poke you? I think you can. Or is he going to goof me around the no, corner? No, you got that one. God, I forgot how hard it is to aim on... Uh, controller. Controller, yeah. Versus you having a PC to click stuff. I'm out again, but that's fine. We can do it like this. Yeah, just Groovatron. Later, Later, sucker! Yeah, dance in the turret. Dance in the turret, you stupid, you stupid bastard. Not bad. <sighs> you in the turret. You in the turret dances. That's okay. I'll, I'll come. Oh, okay. can't break that one, but you can break the other ones. They do look like regular yeah. barrels. It's deceiving. I can't see anything. <laughs> I was hoping to just clear some extra stuff up. Oh yeah. Oh god! Get rid of her. I even love the way that does like that two D. Kind of effect did. look to it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, it's I'll weird that that one doesn't break. Uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of like uh, these are the set dressing ones for sure. I'll go back and I'll uh, I'll collect all my bolts that I just got. This uh, one goofed me up too because I'm like, oh, obviously I can destroy these. No, mm -hmm. I can. Makes sense though. Like this, oh, yeah. It's a big industrial area. Like even you can't take out some of these. Yeah, some of these are high grade. You got the rhino. And they they stand everything. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've goofed up by maybe no, killing no, I those. Think I might be able to do the jetpack up. Let's see. Oh, too far. Can you fire at them with your gun? Oh, come on. No, there okay, yeah, I can just get it. Oh, perfect. I'm still not used to the height that I have with yeah. this thing. Now you can blow up those boxes, that's though. that's everything. Oh, no, wait, those no, are these guys are the yeah, indestructibles. Right. Look, over there. No, you look over there. I think you can send Clank in through that pipe. Clank, you want to get in there? I nice. Here, I used the air purification vents to escape. Perhaps. Nah, I was hoping it Be wouldn't do that. There, Damn Clank. it. I was hoping it would still go through, but you got everything though. Come in, Rangers. I am inside Drek Industries ventilation system. It's been a while since we've been on Clank. I wish I was in that vent with you. <laughs> These abnormally large muscles. <laughs> uh huh. Sure, uh -huh. buddy. Just north of your position. These might remind me of the, the Mousers. They really do. From TMNT. I love the master designs. I yeah. actually been. I actually. That's not language. I mean, it is language, but whatever. Do you um, actually? I do. I actually. I've been reading. Um, I've been starting to read comics a bit, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Picked up Comicsology, which is. Uh, is it like a subscription service for comic stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Come back! I'm gonna be. Oh, you jerk! I, I forgot about up. that character. Um, but yeah, I've been reading a TMNT book, which is uh, an alternate like future where um, only one of the turtles survived. And how do I change this all, Uh You have there to. We go. Yeah, there you go. We're all. Wait, you said. Oh, it's an alternate future where like a dystopian version of the turtles, where like all three of the turtles are dead and only one is still alive, Why is and he's trying to bridge? stop like the last Oroku Saki. Um, is that gonna kill him? Yeah. yeah. But the new one will spawn. Wait, uh, why is the bridge not being So you though? already have a bridge. Yeah, but I wanted to go back, get that guy, so you can put two electrical ones on this door. Huh. Well, I think... Is, that, is this not the bridge? 
Because that's the electric one. I just I just want to build the bridge. You don't need this guy yet. So I think just just grab him and go. Damn it! Forward. I wanted to open up that so door there needs before to be, I forget. There needs yeah. to be one of those yellow things. That's okay, why. Okay, I see. And there is none. There's none returning on that side here. Okay, so I guess I don't have to get to use yeah. that guy. I'm gonna go to the right because he went to the left. So by RPG standards, this will totally work then. Mm -hmm. So I think you need to take him and grab the other bot first. Software upgrade. Engineers, mandatory typing classes have now been ordered by Chairman Drag. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Nobody knows. Now I can go back and. Well, I think you're going to use him as a one to jump on. So oh, you need to take here. the bridge. Yeah, right. yeah. Take the bridge one and then use him back again. <laughs> My yeah. obnoxious memory comes in handy that for makes things sense like now. these. I forgot about the jumpy ones. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Hi, Jerk. It's one of those things second. where it's, you know, I already played this game, so I remember some of like the weird mechanics that they threw into other games and whatnot, mm. too. So we'll change him into an electric mm -hmm. one. It's too sure. bad you can't just have a bowl. Right? You can charge both of them, right? Right? Should work out just fine. Should be totally okay. And then we'll change you to an electric boy. Stand in the middle and get both. Mine. Wow, 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 wow. Wait, 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 wait. I, uh, I think you, I you, have you to. Just say, <laughs> I think you can. Yeah. It. You know, I, it'll respawn so even if you tell. Fucking, I hit that like three times. It's, I think it's because you were jumping. I don't think it'll let you. It won't let me do it if I'm jumping. Nah, because I think they want you to do this. Freaking jerks. Yeah. Freaking jerks. Them and their gameplay mechanics. I see why they're doing it though. Um, so you said you were reading more comics? Oh yeah, no, I just, you mentioned the Mousers and that made me re mm. remember that. Oh hey, I was reading the new TMNT books, they just released one, the second issue of it. Uh, it's based on the original Turtles, so they're a bit more darker, they, yeah. they kill and, you know. I heard those were, I heard those were good though, right? It's good, yeah. Wasn't no. Shredder only in like, the one episode or one, one, not episode, well, I think one, the original uh, TMNT books by, um... Eastman oh, and Laird, I believe that was only like a it wasn't that long of a series now I'm probably wrong because I don't know a ton but I'm pretty sure like the first run with their original story before it turned into what we know as mm -hmm. the Ninja Turtles was like maybe 24 issues or something like that I heard someone um, was saying that Shredder was only showed up in like the first issue it's something crazy like that where he does, I think, die in second mean, spoiler alert for a for a super old comic for a comic from the '80s. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't ever get to read them. But yeah, I remember them saying that the they were darker back then. They were definitely darker because it was an indie comic. They, I believe, it was one of them got a loan from their uncle for like two thousand dollars to print it or whatever, and they pitched it to local comic book shops and. That looks dangerous. Is he gonna come down or no? It's one of those first big indie success stories where just it just blew up. Um, That's cool. And obviously, it, it, it was just, very different too. Yes, the, it was made very more kid friendly into what we know as Ninja Turtles. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. The original version was very much more dark. Um, I think both versions are valid too. I think both versions are fun. Like, yeah. So yeah, remember it has to have the yellow thing. Yeah. So you and can only not? Oh, no. Yeah, go it has there. to be. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna end, not start. Yeah, because the robot's gotta attach to something. Yeah. It's weird though that you should you should be able to do it the other way too, but. I would prefer that as well. Yeah. Let me do it. Uh, electrical. Nice. I the uh, I think you can have both versions of it, you know. Yeah. And and still be true to to that kind of setup. Do we have another bad Let's boy see. over here? What is American going on? comic book produced by Mirage Studios. Why is that not doing anything? Says an original 30 year run, but I, I wonder. Oh, there's another line, doll. Where the fuck did that go? All the way back over there? Well, you're coming off then. Okay, first issues of Team NT were advertised issue number one and number two, 1984. <laughs> when uh, did Shredder die? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, what the hell am I supposed to do here? The, uh. 
So you've been, have you been picking up like physical copies of? Oh no, it's all digital. So it's a Comixology is a company through Amazon. Okay. Um, it doesn't come with Amazon Prime, which is a bummer, but it's like five ninety nine a mm-hmm. month. Like um, oh, ice cream sandwiches are so Fuck good, yeah, man. Fuck yeah. So if I remember for this one, I think you I gotta put walk him. through one at a time, right? Uh, I can't get him. I think you have to put it on the conveyor belt and it rides around and then you go under it. Makes sense. I was like, I don't have enough. How are we going to do this? Um, okay, yeah, so it's a subscription service for a digital version? It's a subscription for just for a digital comics, comicsologies on phones, That's tablets, cool. all that stuff. But they have like a lo- huge revolving door of storylines and comics that are like free to read. So I've been reading Saga and I've been oh, reading... Fuck. A couple other ones. I did pay for the Team and T ones because they're brand new. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like Netflix for comics, basically. That's tight. And his DC books has Marvel books. Marvel and DC have their own things, but Comicsology is nice because it's a bit of everything. I wonder how that works with uh, like uh, getting creators paid and stuff like that appropriately. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, but the way that the world is going, like subscription services, mm-hmm. definitely the way, like. Newer comics you have to pay for, from what I see. Yeah. So it's it should be similar to how game developers end up working, where it's like, hey, this, you know, it doesn't go unlimited. Like, for instance, Saga, which is a book by Brian K. Vaughn, mm. and um, I want to say the name of the artist. Let me find you have out. You to look who. it up. Yeah, I mean, I'm just recently reading it. I'm more familiar with Brian K. Vaughn than I am with her work, but I want to give her props. Sam, you do know that reading is for nerds, though, right? Reading is comic, for nerds. They, you're balancing it out there. Just comic books are for yeah, cool people. Yeah, comic books are for cool people. <laughs> comic books are the cool form of reading. I guess you have to have both at the same time, right? Yeah. The balancing act. I'm I, not as familiar with her work, so I, I always, like, forget. No, I want to see the name of the artist. Fiona Staples. Fiona Staples. Um, so, for instance, there's like. How about fighting a real war bot? I don't want to. Okay. Um, Bring it on. So, the guy, like, for instance, that has like 10 oh, volumes shit. currently out, right? <laughs> but the first four volumes or first three volumes of Comixology are free as part of the subscription service. Ah, uh, so. But if you want to read further and, like, okay, each volume is $10 or something like that, but they also give you a discount for being a subscription member. Well, that's cool. Um, so, from what and I understand. I think it makes it a lot more accessible, too, especially with what? This day and age, going yeah. to comic book shops probably not the easiest Most thing right people, now. people. And just. I know some people prefer oh, physical ones, ones, and like I like buying big compendiums too, and having a physical book. But mm-hmm. the convenience of buying a digital is nice. It's probably also easier for some comic book artists to I like the get idea their stuff of digital published. for comics and stuff. Yeah, you know? I understand liking the physical medium, but yeah, as someone that very like classic, hey, very collectible, you know, uh-huh, for sure. But you know, storage is limited, and in this digital age, sometimes it's just nice to have. A digital copy. Like, I need to upgrade the switches. They don't get all bent and, and fucked up. Yeah, on a tangent, um, the switch is like almost out of room on its uh, oh, no. great card. I was going to say, like, we have to hey. start deleting stuff. Well, not, not even that. Like, we could easily just buy, like, in, like a new um, SD. Oh, oh, like an SD card? That, yeah, we just, just buy, micro, buy a new micro SD. Like, I think it's like a 200 gigabyte one, but we could just upgrade it to, like, a. Is the way, do they have uh, storage sizes that are mandatory for. Like you can't have a terabyte one or something. I think like Switch, that. from what I read, goes up to a terabyte. Okay. But um. <laughs> we've had that for a while now, and we're just now getting to it. And I just like the idea of like, oh, all games are accessible. Um, type of deal, especially mm-hmm. when it's digital. Perhaps that magnet can be of assistance. I know it's different. The magnet, huh? Oh, right there. Um. I, I know it's different because, you know, it's... What about the physical medium? Isn't that important? It's like, yes, it is I understand, still. yeah. But um, I do enjoy the fact that it's uh, more accessible and available for everyone. Yeah, as someone that's more of a minimalist, I love the idea of digital. I know there's people that are like, well, I want to own the game, and I... Or own the comic, or own this thing. It's like, mm-hmm. I totally get it, and that's your prerogative. From my standpoint, it's just, you know... Buying I'm, I'm digital. We're buying the the physical copies and stuff for, yeah. for a while. Someone who has so much shit, it's like, eh. I personally, someone, yeah. Someone that put it this way that was oh. interesting was um, 
the idea of like owning movies now is more so as like a display piece than anything. It's to show people like when they come into your home, like these are the movies that I like more so than no, I'm just gonna watch it on a streaming service. Or mm -hmm. there's so much media that's out now. I was hoping I could cheat that this. It doesn't look like I can. It's not like back in the day yeah. when you were kids where you'd have one game or one movie that you would watch all the time. Now there's so much accessible all the time. And it's always <laughs> new stuff coming out. No! Go, go ahead, leave the message, Mr. Robot. Hey, Mr. I mean, Chairman Drek. It said calling for a no reason. Oh, bastard. I'm totally not cowering inside a shipping crater. In fact, I was just calling for a short that there is nothing to worry about. Security is, you know, secure. So, um, bye! <laughs> Pick him up! Oh, I don't know why I want to say right it's there. Paul Giamatti voicing him. I know that's probably not it. I don't know who does him in the movie. I'm looking at for Chairman Drake now. Do I have to extend him out? I gotta extend him out first, huh? And then I gotta move him over. Okay. Well, uh, while you're looking that up, we can uh, we can come back next time, guys. Yeah, I don't have an answer for the turtles thing, everybody. Um, there's there's too much info to distill it all. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, for the physical medium stuff, like. I've got bookshelves and bookshelves of stuff. Like, yeah. I, I'm okay for now. I, ha I have a good enough. I have a good amount for myself personally for the rest of my life. I'm I'm good. Maybe I'll add one per year. Yeah, it has and to then, be really special to get like a physical copy or something at this point now. Yeah. Oh yeah, Paul Giamatti. 